Jacqueline Saburido was born in Caracas, Venezuela. She was the only child of Rosalia and Amadeo Saburido. After her parents divorced, Jacqueline stayed with her father. I was going to continue the family business. After entering college in 1999, she went on vacation to Texas to unwind and learn English. On September 19, 1999, returning from a birthday party for a friend, Jacqueline was involved in a terrible car accident their car crashed into the jeep of a 17-year-old teenager who got behind the wheel after drinking a fair amount of beer. The car that Jacqueline was in caught fire. She was locked inside and remained in the burning car for no more than 45 seconds, but this was enough for the girl to burn 60% of her body. Two of her companions died on the spot, but Jacqueline managed to get to the hospital. She lost her face, hair, and some of her hearing and vision. Her hands were burned so badly that they had to be amputated. And to save the girl's life, she had more than 50 operations. In June 2001, Reginald Stuffy appeared in court on charges of driving under the influence of alcohol, manslaughter, and grievous bodily harm. The guy received seven years in prison and was obliged to pay the victims $20,000. He cried at the trial, and now he says he can't forgive himself for being drunk at the will that night. In general, this is the background, Reginald has already been released and continues to live a normal life, but Jacqueline. However, Jacqueline was an incredibly strong person. She didn't lock herself in a room and cry about her broken fate. From the money collected by the whole country for her face transplant operation, the girl did not take a penny. With these funds, Saburido and his father created several funds to support disabled people who were injured in road accidents. Jacqueline was twice named Person of the Year for her contributions to driving sobriety awareness and social programs. Saburido goes to transport conferences, takes photos, does not hesitate to show his face, although for a girl this is one of the worst tragedies in life showing by example the horror of the consequences of survivors of accidents.